Welcome. In this video, we're going to evaluate the limit of a sequence to determine whether it converges or diverges. So our sequence in this case, a sub n, what we're going to look at is 2n to the fifth minus 3 over 7n to the fifth plus 1. Well, the limit as n grows large, that is, as n approaches infinity, of 2n to the fifth minus 3 divided by 7n to the fifth plus 1, well, what is that? You might see this immediately already, and if you do, that's great. Write it down. If you don't, you can do a couple things. I notice that these leading terms have an n to the fifth in common, so I can factor that out, and that's equivalent to multiplying the numerator and denominator, excuse me, not n squared, um, by one over n to the fifth. And this here doesn't change the quantity since I'm just multiplying by one. Now, use care here. You do need to distribute this. That is, multiply 1 divided by n to the 5th. Multiply it by 2 to the two times n to the 5th. So what does that look like? Well, let's write down our limit notation first. Don't ignore that. Well, 1, times n, one divided by n to the 5th times 2 over n to the 5th. Well, that's just equal to 2. And then here we're going to multiply again this unit fraction by negative 3, and that gives us negative 3 over n to the fifth. Pause your video and try the same thing in the denominator. You should have gotten 7 plus 1 over n to the fifth. Well, as n approaches infinity, both 1 over n to the fifth and negative 3 over n to the fifth approach 0. In fact, I mean, this one follows from this one, since this, you know, as n approaches infinity, this is just 0 times negative 3. So, of course, it's going to be 0. So, this limit is just 2 over 7. So this indeed does converge this sequence. Its terms, you know, if here is a graph, here's one. The terms are going to get closer here, say 2 over 7. They're going to get closer and closer here as n grows very large.